Recent statistics by UNHCR, the refugee agency, indicate that Uganda now hosts 36,000 refugee and accompanied children who have been separated from their families due to conflict and displacement. This makes Uganda the country with the most unaccompanied refugee children in the whole world. The children that arrived in Uganda after the 2016 South Sudan War had witnessed the most appalling crimes, including rape, murder of their loved ones, and the burning down of their homes. Many have no idea what happened to their parents. I'm okay. I was not at school when the shooting started. The armed men came into the compound and started shooting, and we ran away. When we reached home, we found Evans packing our clothes, and we all fled without seeing our father. I remember the date so well, 16th September 2016. People were fighting everywhere. Our neighbor told us to run away. He had seen our father being shot dead. We walked for three days to Paralinya border where we joined a number of people who are coming to Bidibidi. When the war intensified, Evans Lorongo fled the country with his four siblings. They were scared of a future without their parents, not certain if they would survive the next day without food or shelter. The sound of shooting was everywhere. Along the way we found many people whom we joined. We had not eaten for three days and our sister Nancy fell sick because she was hungry. A man gave us 1,000 shillings and we bought pancakes. Later in the night we stayed in the bush because we did not have anywhere to sleep. After several days of walking, they landed on a lorry that was ferrying the refugees from Palorinha in Moyo district to Bidibidi refugee settlement, which they joined. There, they received a tent in which to shelter as they figured out their new life, which has not been easy. It was not easy for us because we already thought about what our parents would be doing for us if they were still alive. The tent in which we were sleeping was small and the five of us were sharing it. We cooked in the same tent. Every time it rained, the water came in and we got wet. It was always wet. At night, insects beat us. Evans Lorongo flee from South Sudan with his other four siblings after they had lost their dear father in the 2016 war. This meant that Evans had to assume all the parental duties since they had also lost their mother three years before the war broke out. Evans has since given up on his education to make sure that his siblings get the best of the life they need in the settlement. Being a child in household, one of them is out of school. Because he has to provide some support at home. He ensures that the children come back and eat during lunch time and break time. Although I recommended him to join the accelerated learning program, which he did, but later dropped out. Because he realized that the siblings were not getting the meals in time. The 14-year-old says the devastating effects of the war still haunt him like a nightmare. Losing their father meant that he had to take on the older man's role to ensure that his siblings never lacked. Child-headed families are not new to the authorities at the settlement. They have come up with measures to ensure that these cases are reduced. Because of the fostering system, we have tried to minimize the child-headed. Because we realize that some children, when you leave them to stay alone, Always they misbehave, they drop out of school because no one is supporting them. But for this particular family, it was very hard to foster them because they are many in number and the foster parents always fear to foster very many children in their households. And even the children themselves, because they are many in number, they always don't want to be separated. Because I could hope to foster the ladies, I mean the young girls, but the brothers could tell me they cannot be separated because they are used of each other. When they came here, they have been staying alone in the top line. So they want to suffer at least when they are together. Even with the help from aid agencies to childhood families, the resources are still limited. Olivia Komgisha, NTV Weekend Edition.